summer started off very wet this year, very cool as well in Southern Colorado, but we have made up for it lately this month. So far, July, we have seen eight days at 90 or above in the springs, pushing our total for the year up to nine, not quite to halfway to average, which average for the year is around 24 for Pueblo. It has been very hot this month, already 10 triple digit days for the year, nine of them coming in the month of July alone. The average only at 12, so it looks like we could easily beat that with today's temperature expected to reach triple digits as well as tomorrow and again on Friday. Now, heat advisories today not quite as widespread as what we saw earlier in the week, generally for areas south of Highway 50. In these spots, you want to be careful. You want to listen to your body if you're spending a time outside. If you have to work outside, make sure to take frequent breaks. Uh, head under a tree for some shade, drink plenty of fluids, water and electrolytes definitely help out when the heat gets this intense. Right now it's very comfortable as we look at current temperatures here on your Wednesday morning. 40s in Alamosa, 52 in Woodland Park, 72 in Canyon City, 64 degrees currently in Colorado Springs. And looking at the hour by hour forecast, it doesn't take long for the heat to arrive. We'll be in the 90s in both areas by the lunch hour and showers and storms are expected to become a little more widespread, a little more intense today. Main threats through this evening being periods of heavy rainfall, frequent lightning, gusty winds, and also the potential for some hail up to an inch in diameter. Let's show you the timing here of that rain on our future cast. You can see by the lunch hour, a little bit of rain possible up in the mountain areas. I think that first wave begins to move east towards I-25 anytime between about 1 and 3 o'clock this afternoon. And that initial wave could cluster together to form some stronger storms, maybe even marginally severe out across the eastern plains. Behind that initial wave, still some moisture, still some instability to work with, and that'll at least keep in the potential for some scattered to spotty thunderstorms through around Sunday set tonight. I also see an uptick in those thunderstorm chances on Thursday and then storms begin to diminish in coverage and intensity as we head towards the weekend. By that time, moisture plume shifts back west towards the mountain areas. Today's temperature of 101 could tie a record in Pueblo. 90 would set new record in Alamosa. 92 are expected high in the springs and will stay around 91 to 92 all the way through the end of the week. Again on Thursday, rain chances up a little bit from today through the afternoon hours up around 60%. Reduced coverage expected Saturday to Sunday as I think most of the rain by the weekend stays west out into the mountains. For Pueblo, got our best chance for thunderstorms through Thursday and those triple digit temperatures not going anywhere through the end of the week. By the weekend, we're down a few degrees to the upper 90s. Canyon City, I've got daily highs here in the 90s through the weekend and into early next week, as well as daily chances of showers and thunderstorms. Woodland Park will see those daily thunderstorm chances in your neck of the woods as well, with highs generally in the 80s over the next seven days.